And now, the Epistle to the Romans. Hello everyone, it is I, Gabe Angel. The Gentiles were never given the laws of Moses, but the Jews had that law. That law is a metaphorical light for the spiritually blind and a literal teacher to the ignorant. You guys can't be hypocrites though. Don't tell others not to steal and then go steal cable or use file sharing. Don't tell others not to commit adultery and then go commit adultery yourselves. Remember, Jesus said not even to look at another woman with lust in your heart or you'll already be committing adultery. He said that. I thought you just looked at a woman. You might as well have never been circumcised at all. That was your covenant with God, you know. If Gentiles obeyed the law and still have their foreskins, how are any of you better than them if you haven't circumcised your metaphorical hearts? You guys better start a cutting. So, other than having their physical foreskins cut off, what advantages do the Jews have over Gentiles truly? God entrusted his message to the Jews. Just because humans aren't faithful, doesn't mean God is not faithful. You don't get to judge God. Only God can judge you. Jews and Gentiles are all alike in their sin. The scriptures tell you so. People's mouths are full of poison and bitter curses. But remember, the law alone will not save you. You need to be put right with God. That's right, you totally do. The law of Moses is not enough to set you right. You are put right through your faith and devotion to Jesus Christ. You all just need to give Jesus a try. He works. All of your vile sins are forgiven. So stop watching that filthy porn and just let Jesus inside of you. You are put right through your faith in God and Jesus Christ. He is the God of both the Jews and the Gentiles. God is one in three aspects, but that doesn't mean get rid of the laws of Moses. Oh no. Do you remember Abraham? Abraham believed God and was righteous for doing so. The scriptures say so. He was justified by his faith. Even King David spoke of being righteous is better than doing works. Happy are those who God forgives of their sins. This includes people with and without their foreskin. Abraham believed in God before he was physically circumcised because he was metaphorically and spiritually circumcised in his heart. So get out your metaphorical circumcising knife and cut away that extra skin on your hearts. God promised Abraham all of that land, remember, because Abraham was righteous. Not because he cut the skin off the tip of his penis. God promised Abraham that he would make him the father of many nations. God told Abraham he would have as many descendants as the stars in the sky. Did God mean that it's metaphorical or literal? Because there's lots of stars in the sky, you know. Lots of different galaxies full of stars. How do you even count all those stars? That's a whole lot of baby making. That's right. God meant it literally, of course. Be fruitful and multiply, as many as the stars in the sky. God said this in the scriptures. Abraham was a hundred years old, give or take, and so was his beautiful wife Sarah. And God put a baby in her 90-year-old belly, just like he promised. Right, his 90-year-old gorgeous sister wife he kept telling those kings and pharaohs was only his sister, so they wouldn't kill him and take his wife who was 90 years old and totally beautiful. Uh Uh-huh. That's right. The scriptures tell us those things, so they're totally true. Those words were not written for Abraham alone, though. They were written for all of us. And Jesus Christ died for the sins of everyone, Jew and Gentile alike. Ugh. So, Apostle Paul, was this one of the epistles you actually wrote? Or is it one of the ones that someone else wrote and said that you wrote it? I wrote all of them, Satan. Even you should know that. Stop spreading misinformation, O Lord of Lies. Yeah, Satan, quit spreading misinformation. Hello, everyone. My name is Quetzalcoatl. 
Why do you guys hate me so much? I was born of a virgin. I created mankind from the blood of my earlobes, thighs, tongue, and penis. I am the god of death and resurrection. Hey, catchy buddy. <laughs> do you sell propane and propane accessories? What the hell are you talking about, Satan? Why did you create mankind for the blood of your penis? Is it because you have a narrow urethra? Satan, don't make me come over there and kick your ass. 